So Iran knew this, and yet they're still sending this big convoy out. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to provoke something here? And how big could it escalate? Well, it, it certainly means, Charles, that their objectives are is to seize that territory in the Yemen that the Houthis are, uh, are starting to occupy and have a large part of it. They want that, and it shows another effort towards expanding radical Islam throughout the Arabian Peninsula, and that's Shia radical Islam. And it is very dangerous what's going on there right now. But Again, though, what I don't get is with this particular convoy, after the United Nations all got together and said, hey, we're not going to allow, we're going to have an embargo, we're not going to allow these arms to get there. They're still heading out. They're in the Arabian Sea. Uh, obviously, we're going to maybe get there. And what can happen? I mean, do you think they'll try to force this issue or are they trying to make a statement? And how ironic in the middle of these nuclear negotiations that they would do this? It is very ironic because the United States has been trying to compromise at every turn on the nuclear talks so that they can get us in their mind a successful conclusion to those talks yet they have an expanding Iran again through the whole Arabian Peninsula and now it's building up to be a force on force naval ships against naval ships now here's what I think is going to happen Charles I believe as a result of that UN resolution last week that said that w was an embargo on any arms going into Yemen that the Egyptian or the Saudi ships, because they're authorized under the UN Charter, will stop those Iranian ships. I don't believe U.S. ships. U.S. ships will be in the background and in the support position, but you'll have either the Egyptian or the Saudi ships go up to inspect those ships going in to the harbor there in Aden. And I think that's what's going to do. I would not put U.S. forces uh, against the Iranians, even though they could be authorized. Let's let the Arabs do that. Well, to your point, uh, we've got this 10-nation coalition. It's Sunni versus Shia. And um, we have stayed in the background, but apparently the, all these airstrikes by Saudi Arabia obviously may be softening these Houthi, but not stopping them. And we've seen this, by the way, in other places, right? ISIS just seems to shift from one place to another, but we can't seem to destroy them. How long before some additional action has to be taken militarily, and, and what kind of role would America play in that? A very good question. First of all, I think the reason they're doing this in such a frontal assault way of sending in convoys is that the Houthis are running low on ammunition, running low on supplies, and probably running low on troops. I would suspect that the, uh, there'll be some Iranian IRGC troops in there that will help reinforce the Houthis. Now, how long is a good question. It really depends when you have the confrontation between the uh, Sunni alliance, the 10-nation coalition, and the Iranian ships. Will they ba back down like we found in the Cuban Missile Crisis, or will they continue on? And then that's the dangerous issue, situation. Will they, in fact, strike Right. those Iranian ships. I think they will not. I think what they'll do is they'll let them offload them and then they'll immediately attack them. The Saudi airstrikes have been effective. Yesterday they destroyed some uh, Scud missile sites near Sana'a, the capital, and that was very effective. And it's more effective than people realize what the Saudis are doing. Well, I tell you what, I for one am glad to see that they step, they're stepping up in their own backyard uh, and taking a fight to their enemy. Thank